Hello, Auggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes to us from Dan Carriger. He says, hi Dave, I'm getting a small pickup truck and I'm trying to figure out where to mount my Yesu ATAS 120 screwdriver antenna. I do 440 megahertz, so should I place it on the passenger side due to RF exposure? What will the effect be of putting it on the bed rails? Will it have enough ground plane effect? Last option is on the bumper where the tailgate will reflect most of the power to the rear. Which option would you recommend? Thank you. The idea of the ATAS 120, which is one of the few antennas that's actually made by Yesu ICOM or Kenwood, is to, that it's designed to work specifically in this case with the Yesu mobile rig. It has a direct connection to it so that it can tune itself and so on. You can get them from DX Engineering, from Ham Radio Outlet, and I'm sure Gigaparts and other major supply stores that are out there. You want to get it, frankly, as high as possible. The best place for it would be at the top of the passenger cabin with a mag mount, a large mag mount of some kind. That would give you pretty uniform, well, sort of uniform coverage around your vehicle. Uh, when you put it in that position, the metal out in front and the metal in back kind of pull the signal that way. If you mount it on the passenger side, like there's a clip you can get with it that will clip it to the frame of the door there, clipping over the uh, rain gutter. And it will tend to actually propagate mostly crossways in the direction opposite the car because it's got this big chunk of metal to work against. You could put it on the very back in the center. You could put a little bracket or something that goes up from the truck bed to where the base of this is in the air. And that would do a pretty good job of protecting you while at the same time you're probably going to get again that antenna pattern that goes both forward and reverse. If you can build a little bracket like that, that might be your best solution because that'll keep the antenna out of the way, the coax out of the way from whatever you're hauling in your pickup truck and will also give you reasonably decent coverage. Plus with the metal roof of the pickup truck will protect you from RF radiation, especially if you're using one of these mobile rigs with 80 watts out. If you have one of those rigs with 80 watts out, please don't set it to full power. Set it like half power. If you can get around 25 watts, that's probably, you'll hit anything you can hear. But you can always turn it up. Now the cable run needs to come in in a way that does not uh, put pressure on it that'll squash it eventually or stuff like that. I do temporarily run cables. I will often put my antenna in the center of the roof and then bring the cable in through the rear door. I use mag mount and then it comes in through the rear door uh, because the right rear door on my vehicles is always the one least used. So you're slamming on it the least amount of times. Otherwise you can uh, find many different ways of bringing the cable into the interior of the vehicle. Uh, now, as far as mounting it on the back bumper, you're now too low. The cab acts as an obstacle for the signal. So you're going to get signal to the back and sides, but nothing much forward. I'd put it up high. So if you can get a mag mount that'll hold it, that would be your best bet. You're going to be in the center of the roof, the most universal pattern all the way around. So good luck with your project there. That sounds like a fun one. Now note that that ATAS 120 operates over all of HF as well as up into UHF to the 70 centimeter band. So when you upgrade to having a mobile HF rig in there and Yesu makes two or three of them, you can use that same antenna. And I believe they have the same connection uh, for tuning. So. There you have it. I hope that's helpful. If you enjoyed this channel, please subscribe. It helps tell YouTube that this is a good channel to advertise to other people. And until we next meet, 73.